Welcome back to my channel, Southern Yankee Beauty. Let's get you straight. Um, I actually have a little bit of makeup on because I had um, called at 11 o'clock my nail place and she said, can you be here by 11.30? So I actually just threw on this stuff. This is the Moisture Cushion CC Cushion Cream. I got it. It was a Facebook thing. Um, this is the coverage it gave me. It's okay, but I had put a little bit of sunless tanning on and I don't know. Can you see this right here? Let me show you right here. I've noticed every time that I tan that spot, it must be like, I don't know, but it just always gets really dark with the tanning stuff. So if you guys have any, I mean, I'm going to use vitamin C. I know that brightens skin up, um, but I want, I'm going to, obviously I need a little bit more coverage there. So we're going to redo all the face cause I just didn't have time. I've got eyeliner and mascara on. We're going to keep that on. Um, I also want to try these. These are new from kiss. They're no glue needed. Press on falsies, natural, wispy, last extension. So maybe we can put just a few on the edge. I don't want to do too much because I don't, it doesn't really say how to get them off. It says use your finger to remove the clusters, lift them off starting with the band. So I guess you just pull them off. I, I don't really know, um, but we're going to play with these. I also today want to play with this. This came in one of my recent unboxings. This is a lip and cheek, pa cheek palette by Iconic London, and I'm curious about this because I haven't seen that these work really well for both. I haven't found a formula that I love that I love on the cheeks and the lips. Either it works great on the lips and it's too sticky on the cheeks, or it works great on the cheeks and nothing on the lips. So we're going to play with this and just see what we come up with. But I'm, I'm feeling like playing with with greens and purples today. Um, kind of my inspiration here is my little bangle set and you're gonna see some purple swatches I did because I um, was trying to figure out what I was gonna do. Um, so this was my inspiration. I love green and purple together. Also look I got my nails done and I got a cute little sunflower. Aren't they cute? All right I digress. All right so just to go warm the skin up a little um, because I don't have much on it. I mean that's that's bare it's not really even a skin tint um, it gives very, very light coverage. Um, I will do a review on it and I'm going to show you these, these swatches. This one's too pink. Um, this one I felt like had too much blue in it. Um, which one was I going to use? Shoot. I'm going to re-swatch them. I'm either using this one or this one. They look the same. Um, they're not. I'll show them to you in the pan. I'm going to be using my ColourPop palette for the base shades, that the one that I created, and then I'm going to be using the Seahorse palette by Adept Cosmetics. And you can see on the top row, these were the shades that I swatched. And we're either going to use Giraffe or Tiger Tail, I think. I don't know. I'm going to re-swatch them because now I don't remember. We'll see. But on my face, I'm going to go in with the Milani. This is such a great drugstore brand, too. And you're crooked again. Um, this is such a great drugstore brand. Mine's in the color Nude. Nude Chair. Okay. So we're just going to put a little bit on because I want to cover that up and just give my skin... This might be a little bit light, actually. Yeah, it's a little light for my skin now that I have that tanning stuff on it. Um... But, and actually my tretinoin, they just upped my tretinoin. Um, I was at like 9, 0 0.9, 0.09% tretinoin for my skin, for my wrinkles. And it was time for me to go up. And so they upped me to like 0.15%. Uh, and already I'm seeing a big difference in the way that my skin looks. Yeah, so I'm actually lightening my skin with this. That's fine. We're going to bronze it up. It'll be beautiful when we're done, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, you never know. Um, so with the tretinoin, I also have a dark spot formula and I'm going to use it on that spot tonight when I wash my face before I go to bed so that we can see if that works. I, I really didn't have dark spots. There's one here that I thought was a dark spot. You can kind of see it, but it's actually dry skin and I keep, a, I, you know, I have eczema, so it could be that, but I, I keep exfoliating it and it realized it's dry skin and then, um... <laughs> It just doesn't seem to go away. So I don't know. I don't know. All right. So now this is my makeup base by, who is it? Why can't I read? Base, Demacula Base. I don't know. Is this like a no-name brand? 
Bella Pierre is who this is by. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the eyelid just to cover any kind of discoloration might have going on and give ourselves a nice clean base. I did throw, I did have a little shimmer, tiny little, it was a highlighter that I just threw up there from Dior. Um, cause I was like literally running out of, out of the house so fast. All right. So I think that looks good. Um, I do have my beauty pie. Is this my brightener? Yeah, I do have this. We'll try this. Um, I tried this the other day, um, but I tried it after like all my makeup was on, which was not the way to do it. Um, you need a, you sh I should have done this even before I put on the foundation. So I'm going to set this right away. But um, I'm actually, this is just the brightener. I'm going to go over it with some concealer and then I'm going to go in and set it. This is the Beauty Pie stuff, and I do really like the Beauty Pie. Um, I like a lot, almost everything I've gotten from Beauty Pie has worked really, really good. They're coming out with some like high-end like dupes to like Charlotte Tilbury and stuff for their like um, eyeshadows, and super, super excited about that. All right, so we're gonna go into Natasha Denona, and we're gonna just put a little bit. I don't need a ton today. Um, I don't know if Robert and I are doing anything tonight or not. I kind of want to, but then, like, by the time the evening comes, I got so much to do that I'm usually pooped out. And he's pooped. I think he just goes out because I want to go out because I'm younger than him. Um, and I just don't like sitting home all the time. But he he probably would really like to sit home. <laughs> Which we do most nights. So, like, him going out once or twice a week with me is just something he's going to have to put up with or I'll get bored. And I don't want to get bored. That's the issue when you're with somebody that you are a lot younger with then, because I'm 11 years younger than he is. And he's like not wanting to do it. And I don't go out much. I don't want to go out much, but I kind of, you know, lately now I've been feeling better. I do. I want to get up and do things. I just don't want to sit home all day. All right. So taking this is my Pat McGrath um, under eye blurring powder. This does have some color, so it's going to cover, cover up some of that brightness. But I was really using the brightness not to brighten my skin so much, but um, just to take any darkness away. Um, since this has a little color, I'm gonna go through and just put it over, use it as a setting powder for the skin in general. And we'll see how that, uh, this will help us see how the Iconic London does over powder too, because I probably should have put that on before powder, but we're good. All right, so we have our base done. So let's get in. So we're gonna start, um, since I'm doing green and purple, um, I'm going to do the back half of this green, which you've seen before. I did a really beautiful look with that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start with this bottom shade here as a transition. Um, I can tell you what this is, because if you build your own palette, you may have interest in some of these. This is called Made to Last. And I'm going to pull you guys in. Uh, I've been trying to do, you know, more close-ups for you guys. I know people want to see real skin. I don't have any filters on my videos when I do them. On any of my videos, I just dropped something and it opened. Um, on this channel, for the beauty channel, or for the, um, or for the main channel with my fashion, there's no, I don't, I just don't use filters. It, you know, you get what you get with me. I'm almost 50, so I got wrinkles, guys. And um, if you want to see how makeup sits on mature skin, and also you may be interested in watching my journey with my skincare as well, because I should have been taking care of that a long time ago, and I didn't. And um, I have really bad wrinkles on my eyes, like these wrinkles up here. And um, <clears throat> I realize what it's from. Even if it's a cloudy day, um, the lighter color that your eyes are, and in it, it, my eyes look very blue here, but when they're outside, they almost look aqua. Like even Robert, Robert asked me if I um, was wearing colored contacts one day because my eyes were so bright blue. And I said, no, but like they just sort of change a little bit. And when you're in the light, the light reflects off, the lighter your eyes are, the more light it lets in. And that's why people have to be careful that have really light colored eyes um, because it could, um, well, it, it's just hard on your eyes. Even at work, we have big, I sit by the windows and I had to bring the shades down because even on the cloudy days, it was bothering me. Um, so I had to put the shades down there. As much as I love the sun, I need to make sure I'm wearing eye protection and wearing sunglasses when I'm out, even, even when it's raining, because it's just too much for me. So um, yeah, so I just took that shade all the way under. Um, look like I got some there. 
just like that. So that's how we're gonna start. I am gonna put a little bit of this really deep dark brown in the outer corners just for a little smoke effect, even though we're gonna go over it with the green color. This is called Mission right here. So this is one of those sequin formulas, but they don't really, they don't really show sequins. Like they don't really show the glitter. Like if you blend it, it doesn't. I mean, if you go over it, like if I wanted to have a little bit of glitter on it, if you just tap it like that, you might see it a little, a little bit of glitter, but really not. And I'm not doing a lot of this color. You can see how gently I'm doing it just a little. And I am going to go with a different brush and put a little bit under the eye on the bottom too. So I just want to do a fun get ready with me using making a green and purple look because I just think green and purple is a beautiful combination. I love when I see people doing a green and purple look on their eyes. I just always find it so beautiful. And I think it looks good on a variety of eye colors. I like it with my blue eyes. I think it's pretty with because purples look really good with green eyes and I also think it's really beautiful um, with brown eyes. Uh, brown eyed girls can wear pretty much any colors on their eyes. The best colors for me are going to be opposite of blue on the color wheel so browns and oranges are my very very best colors but I found I also with the color in my eyes like my eyes with the greens and the uh, greens and purples too, even though that's closer to my my color. All right, so we're gonna go with that stunning. I gotta do the bottom. I'll do the bottom last, but um, with that brown, I gotta go back. All right, and then I'll swatch after we get this green on. So this green is called Big Banks, right there. Isn't that pretty? Oh my God, so beautiful. And I and I do have a look, a full like where it's all over the lid. If you want to see that, um, it's already on the. Um, it's already up. Hold on one second. Let me find my brushes. All right, going in with this pretty green. This brush needs to be reshaped. Look, it's funny shaped, but look at that color. So beautiful. So we're going to go mm -hmm. ahead and get it on half the lid. Let me bring you in more. And I even remembered today not to, to put my phone on airplane mode so that we don't get disturbed. I just finished doing the dish. I went and got my nails done. Uh, and my toenails, and then I went in came, uh, Hobby Lobby and picked a couple things up. So I'm doing some watercolor painting, which I think I'm going to start rolling a little footage at the end of all my videos on both channels of the watercolor if I have something to show you guys. So if you're interested in watercolor, I'm a beginner and I'm learning that. And um, if, if there's something I'm working on, I'll film it and it will be at the end of the videos um, for you guys to check out. And if anybody wants me to start doing some you know, like what I'm learning, like show you my lessons that you can practice. Um, maybe I can do a video on that too. We'll see how much interest there is in that. I, I don't think there's going to be a ton. I want to stay with the fashion on the one channel and beauty. I don't want to add another art channel because I got so many hobbies. Um, okay, so that's pretty. I do want to see just what it will look like because if I wet this color. So I'm going to go ahead and take my watermelon setting spray. This I think is Ciate London, right? Yeah, let's just see. I don't know how much time I have either. Robert shopping for some tops, clothes. I don't, he keeps buying new clothes, but he just needs to do his laundry. Then he would have it. He does his laundry like once a month. It's really annoying. All right. And I think he has plenty of clothes. He just, so that one, I feel like that one got real, I guess I need more. I didn't have enough on my brush for this one. There we go. I lost some of the shine. So usually when you add it, um, when you add, spray to it or water it just gives you like um more of a metallic look and and i feel like i feel like that's what we did here that's just such a gorgeous color all right so i'm going to take a smaller one but i'm going to go into the seahorse palette now so i'm going to go ahead and read let me back up i'm going to go ahead and back up and show you the swatches of this top purple row and then show you what we're going to do so the first one is more of a blue this is called courtship Aren't these shades beautiful? I'll link this palette. This is Adept Cosmetics. Um, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Very happy with this brand. I have a few. I think I have a couple palettes. This is called Big Belly. This um, looks purple. Let me show it to you in the pan, too, because it kind of looks purple. And you can see the shift a little purple to blue, maybe. Um, so let's try Big Belly. I don't know what my dog's barking about. All right, so that one has, yeah, definitely a little bit of plummy purple. <laughs> Nitro Chopper, stop that noise. I hate that. 
green. It's got a little green in there. So those aren't gonna be our shades. So let's do Tiger Tail. I think this might have been, I know this was a content, uh, what I'm thinking about, but I can't remember if it was this or this. This one in the mirror looks like it has more pink in it. Um, so anyway, this is Tiger Tail. Here it is on the finger. You can see yellow, purple, a lot of purple, which is good because we want a lot of purple in it since I already got the green on there. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's Tiger Tail. So here it looks pink. You can see the purple if I twist it. It's like purple gold. It actually has green in it as well, um, like a teal green, but it's not pulling on camera. I don't know how to... It probably showed more on my finger. There's the purple and a hair, free hair. I can't get the green to, oh, there's the blue. There's a little blue. There, can you see? There we go. So it's got, that's got blue, purple, yellow. I mean, that's like, so a trio chrome, that one. That's beautiful. All right, so then giraffe. This is a very flaky one. You can see here how flaky it is. Um, and you really have to press. So this is gonna make a little bit of a mess. You can see right there. So you have to press this one in. Once you press it in, it smooths out. That's gorgeous. So that has really, what I'm seeing right now, that has the strongest purple shift. Um, that might be what we go with. And you can see here, there's a little blue. Let me show it to you on my finger again and just see if, if it pulls other colors. Hold on. It's just really flaky. Yeah, there you go. Can you see that teal blue that it's pulling? Pinks in there. And that gorgeous, cool purple tone. That's a beautiful shade. So right now between Tiger Tail and Giraffe. And then the last one is called Low Crown. This one here. So we just did this one. And then this one was Tiger Tail. See how different it looks when you can probably see some of the shifts this way. So if you look in the mirror you can see some of the different shifts on these. I, I'd like to show you guys more from this palette. I gotta let this dog out. Let's do this last swatch. I hope I can't even deal with him, hold on. All right, he'll sit there and he'll do that like high pitched squeal and he won't stop. He does it all the time, it's so annoying. All right, so this is low crown. So this one looks like it, sorry, I'm not trying to give you the finger, but um, this one looks like it's almost like a gray blue. Um, there's some kind of a lighter, like neutrally or more shade in here. All these have a really light base, which I like. So I don't think this is the one. Yeah, no, this isn't, first of all, it's not poppy mm. enough. It's a beautiful shade, but not for the look mm. I'm going for. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this flaky one. And that is gonna be a little bit tough because it's, um, it's so flaky. So I'm gonna just sort of put a little bit on and then we'll build it up because you can see like it's really flaky. So let's just see what happens here. Start over this. I might end up having to like lay it down with my finger to get the intensity, but I wanna try it with a brush first. All right, let's try it on the other eye with my finger and see what we get with that. and then I can shape it up with the brush. Yeah, definitely you get more if you use your finger. You just, it's just, it's hard for me to get in here without making a mess. Ugh, these colors though. I just can't even get over how beautiful these, sh these shimmers, these are like all duochromes, this whole palette. I hope it's still available. So if you guys want it, you can get it and I'll, I'll definitely link it. I, some of the links are affiliate links. Um, I don't know if you guys even care about that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sponsored. And if I am sponsored or I have something from PR, I, I always announce it and put it up on the screen. Um, I kind of like not being sponsored for my makeup videos. I'd like that the channel's small because I'm not even on their radar. I can be honest and truthful with you and I don't feel like I have to give a good review on something. Sometimes there's pressure to give a good review. Um, I'm not one that normally caves to that. I'll tell you on my other channel, I had a, um, I had a company that sent me this like massage thing 
and you stick your legs in it and they wanted, and it was expensive. It was like over a hundred dollars and they wanted me to show it on my channel. So they said I could, and it wasn't even sponsored. It was just a collab. They were sending me the PR to do a video. Well, when I started filming the, I hated it. I hated every single thing about it. And, um, he had, I told him, I was like, I don't think you want me to do the review on this because I'm going to be honest. And I really didn't like this. This hurt. It hurt really bad. It hurt my, um, it hurt my legs. It squeezed my legs so tight and it hurt. And so he's like, okay, well, can you send it back? And this is a very expensive piece and heavy to send back. It would have probably cost me $30. And I said, no, I mean, well, I said, I said, sure. So why don't you send me a shipping label and I'll, I'll pop it back in the mail. I'm going back in with that first shade we did, just the, the one we did here, just to deepen this up a little bit. And I'm going to put that dark brown on the outer corner and then probably a little bit of shimmer, but not too much. Um, and he was like, um, telling me basically that he wasn't going to pay for me to ship it back. I'm like, look, I didn't ask you to send this to me. You sent it asking as PR. Now, first of all, he could have just sent it to me and, um, you know, if you're sending something for PR, you don't typically have to send it back, whether you like it or not. But they sent it and then wanted me to pay. I'm like, I don't even like this. I didn't want this. If I liked it, I would have done it. But a lot of times they'll send you samples and you can just try it out. And if you don't like it, you don't have to show it on your channel. But I didn't like it. I did try it. And I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to let my subscribers see this because I didn't want you guys buying it and then hating it because I hated it. I really didn't like it. And I'm going with that dark brown shade. And so um, I just told him, I said, I, I can't in good faith give a honest review because I really don't like this. It's painful. It's not a good product and it's expensive. So um, when he said he wasn't going to get me a shipping label, I just ignored him. I was like, well, then I'll just keep it. I'm not sending it back. You're just, I mean, you sent it to me. What are you going to do? You know? So um, after a couple of weeks, he sent me the shipping label and said, please send it back. And so I, I sent it back. So anyway, the whole reason for me telling you any of that is because I'm not going to be bullied for free product in show. Sorry, the cat, that's the new cat. She's in heat. Hey kitty. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to take this lighter, um, purple here and just go right on the side here. Um, this color is the shade Fluff. Fluff. Hold on. All right, going in with fluff on the bottom lid. And I got a smoothie from Honey. So let's just. This is more purple, too. This, like, you're going to see the purple in this look, but you it, it may not transfer on camera. I'll try to take some photos to get it, but it's. When you're dealing with multi-chromes, it's really hard for the colors to show up the way you want them to. So we're just going to, like in person you would see it, but I'll do the best I can with colors. This purple is pretty too. This is a pretty purple. This is ColourPop called Fluff. That big piece was from, was from this. So yeah, that's not as purple. Like it, it looks almost like a pinky champagne here, but it's not. It's got the purple in it. just can't see it. All right, going back in with our pretty green banks. And we're just going to put a little bit of the green here, too. I love this green. If you want a really beautiful metallic green, go get this as a single. And then ColourPop sells the... Um, these magnetic palettes. So you don't have to, they had a sale, which is, you know, they had a deal. It was so much cheaper than normal, um, to fill your palette. So I picked out the shades, but went by the time I got to this, a lot of these were, a lot of the ones I wanted were sold out already, but I'm very happy with what I got. I did get one pressed glitter up there in the corner, but I've got a lot of fun colors. Like look at this one. So that's like a, also, um, a greeny, let's see, green and red. I just washed my hands. I might get more, more messes on them. I'll just show you some of them here. This is like a peachy red, corally. Here's another one. I think I used this in, in one of the videos. 
I don't remember anymore. I'm just trying to show some of the, here's a beautiful bronze. It's like a bronze, like a lighter bronze with a nice gold flip to it. Um, this looks the same color as that. Did I get two of these? So this one is called Glass Bowl. And then this other one I swatched is called Mr. Sandman. Let's do Glass Bowl, because Mr. Sandman's already on my hand here. That's the uh, Mr. Sandman. I think, is, I think it was this one. So this is Glass Bowl. How fun, those look nice for like fall shades. And then I've got some like mats in here and stuff as well. So, um, well, I've got a nice, we'll probably use this on the inner corner. This is like the pretty cream shade that I got. I wanted to have something like that for the upper eye. And I also just got that in a matte, like a creamy matte too. So, all right, so I think we have, our eyes are good. Now I already have a little bit of, liner and um on the bottom and then I have mascara so I'll freshen up my mascara a little bit I think I have Marc Jacobs on and I'm just gonna darken that up a little and then we'll try to play and see if we can figure out how to use these lashes that are gonna be confusing so hang tight let me Fix my All right, the instructions say to grab a lash from the tray, put it underneath your natural lash and press. So I don't really know how to do this. Let's try it with this side first because I can see that it's got adhesive on it. Well, that doesn't look good. Hold on here. It's because I put it on sideways and... I would not say that it's easy to do this. Um, I have two of them. Just one here and one here. And I needed to be really close up to the mirror to do it. And I would put it, basically want to pick it up with this. Um, so here, let me show a big one so you can see. So basically you would take and put the big one you want to kind of hold it like this and you're going to like stick it up underneath and then like squeeze it to your lid. It's almost like you have to do two steps like that. So now I have to do the other one. So let's just do this over here too. So it's not easy. It It's taking a little too long and Frankly, regular eyelashes to <laughs> see. Now I lost it. Regular eyelashes are easier to do than these, in in my opinion. And I actually, I think this is pretty with two. I don't really like it with three. But we're gonna try to make it even. I don't know if I can do it on camera again because it's not easy. I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I 
It looks all wonky now. I don't, I don't like that at all. Um, I'm gonna see if I can just go over it with the band a little on the top, just a little bit and see if that. <laughs> This one that I just put on is still, in my opinion, a little bit wonky. Like you can see right there, it's like it's not sitting right. But I don't know how to fix it, so it is what it is. We're just gonna leave it for now. Um, as of right now, I would say no to these. I would not recommend these. Um, maybe if you, maybe my application's wrong. Maybe I need to play with them, and I think that's what we're gonna have to do a little bit more of. I think we're gonna have to experiment with these and then see what we think so let's just move past these for now and i'll give you guys updates on them as i continue to use them but you can use them over and over which is what i liked because it says you get like over 30 30 uses hold on let's see there's 30 clusters and you get three to four applications so you should be able to use these for a really long time Safe for natural lashes, easy removal, no glue, 24 hour hold. I'll give you guys an update on how well this holds. All right, let's try this blush. I'm gonna have to get my, um, and lip gloss. I'm gonna have to get my thing wet here and then figure out which blush we should use. I'm thinking like a neutral A shade like this. Let me get this wet, I'll be back. All right, it says you can use your wet beauty blender so we are going to go in this middle shade or you can use your fingers and it said put it on the apples of your cheek and then move up i'm hoping that by using the beauty sponge it won't be like um sticky kind of looks like it would be sticky i'm not feeling that yet i haven't felt it with my fingers but it it looks beautiful actually it's not it's giving me a really pretty look I also said you can mix and match the colors to kind of create your own and it said go across the bridge of your nose let's go with a little bit more of this like corally light shade and see what that does if it gives us a little bit more of a pop oh that's pretty Oh, too much. Oh, pretty. Pretty. Okay, let's put some powder on, and then after that, I'll um, try, we'll line our lips, and we'll try the lips with it and see how that works. Since, let me feel it with my fingers. It's not so, it's not really that sticky, honestly. I don't want to take that sheen away though because I think that's beautiful. So I'm just going around it in the areas that typically need a little powder. That eyelash is annoying me. That's pretty. Okay. Let's see, see what we got for highlight. And lipstick let's see for the for the lips we're gonna use this again but I gotta get a lip liner and in the meantime I need a highlight let's just use our Dior because it's a fail fail safe it's just a proven awesome one it's a cool tone look so I, I could use pink but I'm gonna go into just the white oops shoot I grabbed the wrong color If you guys need just like a one and done, this is so great. I highly recommend it from Dior. I'll link it um, because it's just got all the colors. I use these two the most. Um, sometimes I use this one as like a blush topper and I used this on my eyes the other day and it was really pretty. You can use it as a bronzer too. It's just a little dark for me. All the nose. All right, let's find a lip liner. All right, I'm gonna use this Beauty Pie 
liner. I think it's called Damsel. It's run, it, it's wore off, but it's number 601. So if you're a Beauty Pie member, you get exclusive discounts. I'll have a link below. I think if you use my link, you get like $10 off your first purchase too. So you can grab a free lip liner. Oh. That's not good. That happened to my um, favorite ColourPop one too. I like these, I like the ones that like push up. That way you can, and like ones that push up and also you can take down, that way you can control it. These ones work until you need to sharpen them and then this happens. Curious to see how this stuff works as a lip gloss. My lips are dry, so, and that's fabulous. I'm more excited that it worked for the blush because I think the blush is soft and beautiful. I really like this color, but speaking of butt. Okay, let's do the same color. They don't have shade names or anything like that, so. Hmm. Actually, it's kind of dry on the lip. A little drier than I thought. I guess it has to be, though, for your, to, to be able to use it on your cheeks, too. Well, it still gave a nice little color to the lips, so it's pretty, um, but I like it better as a blush, and that's probably how I will mostly use it. Okay, so here is our final look. I'll bring you guys in to get a nice close-up here. You can see those little guys. So it did put a little thickness here too, so if you have very thin, um, eyelashes, you might like that because it does thicken it up. So that one's wonky. And from the front. All right, guys, I'm going to put some photos at the end to see if I can try to get that to pull purple. It's just not really doing it. You know what, I, let's just let's mix one more purple shade in there. The other one I was thinking of, Tiger Tail. Let's just put a little bit of Tiger Tail right, right in here. So I know you saw from the swatches how purple it was, but these colors were with the light. It's just not pulling the purple. Maybe I can get it in the photos. So I will put that, I'll try to take photos and it's kind of cloudy, so I'll see what I can do here. Um, I wonder if I break, take the light down a little bit. Oh, that's up. That was all the way down the light. I don't know how to show you guys the purple on it. Anyway, all right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me and trying new products. Those kiss little individual lashes to be determined whether we like them or not. I did not find them easy to use, but again, it was my first time ever using them, so it may just be that I need to practice. And um, the Iconic London though, um, beautiful on the cheeks, really pretty, not sticky at all. Of course, the Dior highlights, gorgeous. Um, the lip color is beautiful, a little bit drier, kind of, you can move your lips. So they feel, it looks like more, it looks matte, but there's a creaminess to it. It's not drying down. So that should make it a little bit more comfortable. I don't know how long the wear time is going to be. And of course my ColourPop shades, um, they work great. They work like I would expect ColourPop to work. And I also ha am really happy with my um, Milani 
this is such a great and I don't remember the cost of this it's probably 11 or 12 dollars but um, this is and look how pretty it looks even though it did lighten things up a little bit it looks really natural and beautiful um, and again it's in the color nude chair such a weird name um, and I could probably go a little darker, so I might get another one. But I was at the store, and I forgot about this, and I remembered how much I love it. Um, last time I used the whole thing up. I think it, that's probably, like, my third bottle of it. And it, it rivals the high end, and you don't have to spend $60 on foundation. So try that for sure if, you, if you're if you looking for another foundation. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. I'll have everything that I used today that I can find linked mm -hmm. down below for you. Hopefully the Adept Cosmetics um, Seahorse Palette is still available. Um, if you guys want to see more with this, let me know because there's some stunning colors in here. You have your pinks and your peaches and some greens and blues. So I think you guys will enjoy this palette a whole lot. All these shades in here are like specialty shades, so they're all like little toppers. That one didn't swatch well. That's a real light one called False Eye. And then that other one's called Narrow Bellied. Weird names. There we go. Yeah, so fun. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Play it cool like I'm winter I can make it rain like a cash tsunami You wanna slip and slide, we can link up Working all the time, make it duller Be a suit and tie to make a dollar Wanna live life like I'm on vacation Gotta get those good vibrations Oh, I